You've just found out who you'll be facing in the Champions League this season. How much are you looking forward to it and what do you make of the group? Uh, I look very much forward to it. Um, I think it was an exciting group. It's going to be uh, six difficult games, but it's going to be a fun uh, challenge and experience. And uh, we aim to, to get through to the, to the next stages. So. Are these the types of games that made you want to move to Celtic, testing yourself against some of the best players in the world? Yeah, one one of the reasons was that, like, of course, every every young kid dreams of playing in the Champions League, and now I get the opportunity to do so. So it's gonna be it's gonna be really, really nice. Are there any of the the fixtures that stand out to you in particular, Atletico Madrid, maybe? Yeah, of course, uh, Atletico Madrid is a good team, but um, yeah, the the main experience is gonna be playing here at Paradise in in the European nights, and I knew that before, so <laughs> the draw. The draw was just like, yeah, it was fun. That's another big game this weekend. Just how much are you looking forward to that one? R really much also. Uh, yeah, the derby is, is a big, big game. And uh, yeah, we had a good training week so far. So we, we look forward to, to the game. It's maybe been a tough couple of weeks for everyone at the club. But are you confident this is the type of game that you maybe need to, to up, up the levels? Yeah, I think... Uh, Everyone that played the derby, I played a few derbies in my my playing career, and those games you just forget everything that happened before. It's just hundred percent focus on on that game. So yeah, we're gonna go in there and give give everything got. So hopefully get a good result from there. What's your knowledge of big European nights out at Celtic Park? I've seen some clips on YouTube uh, where that where the noise gets really loud, <laughs> uh, and. Uh, I remember Celtic playing Barcelona here at home, winning 2-1. So that's my main memory from Celtic Park. Yeah. That was a few years ago. You must have been a young kid when you watched that. Yeah, uh, I was young. Uh, and I remember Celtic not having a lot of possession, maybe, but uh, still managed to get a great result. So hopefully we can create new memories this year. That result shows that on any given night, on any night, Celtic can beat any team. Celtic yeah, and that's that's the way we think to the Champions League now. Also, we're going to every game just with the like we're going to win every game, um, no matter what what the opponent is. Just uh, yeah, we go into to win the game we're playing, and it doesn't matter who we play. Confident of qualifying through out of the group stage. Yeah, that's what we aim towards. Um, and we take one game at a time. It's a boring question, but yeah, we take one game at a time and uh, yeah, we look to win the next game. What's it like watching the draw when you've you know watched this competition for years, but to, to know you're part of it and to see your team get pulled out after all these world-class sides? Yeah, it's a bit surreal at first, uh, but then yeah, we we done good results in the past to make make us come here to the Champions League. So, uh, yeah, then it's just like enjoyment. We look forward to playing these games and against these uh, big teams. As the groups are getting drawn, are you seeing ones you think I don't want that one, I want that one, or as you just sit back and, and see what happens? I think the thing with uh, with the Champions League is that like all the groups are are gonna be good, so it doesn't. It doesn't really work that I like hope for one group that every every group is going to be tough, uh, and this group we got is also really tough. Uh, so yeah, just looking forward to the challenge. Really, you mentioned the big nights here at Celtic Park. Being realistic, if you want to progress to the next stage, do you have to win games here? Is this where you pick up your points? This where you have a chance? Yeah, I think so. With the with the fans in our back, like the atmosphere that can be created here, um, we have a higher chance of winning here at home uh, so hopefully we can use that to our advantage and, and get some points here how have you found the first couple of weeks because you're still waiting for your first win you've been thrown in at the deep end it's been a couple of difficult results for the club how has that been to try and settle in and find your feet yeah, it's been a hectic few weeks a lot of new information many new names uh, many new uh, personalities to get to know and uh, and players on the pitch knowing what everyone is good at and and have their weaknesses in. So I think yeah, um, it feels better and better every day for me personally. And I think we have a lot of new players 
in the team and i think that we together as a group just grow stronger and stronger every day and i think the the training the few the last few days has been really good so we look forward to the game this this sunday you've been thrown in you've seen the reaction to a couple of poor results has that been a, a quick education about what life is like here you don't win a game then all of a sudden the, the pressure is on no, I think uh, I knew that before. That Celtic is a is a great club with with great expectations also, uh, and then we players and the fans uh, like expect us to win the games we play, and that's the mindset we go into every game also. So uh, of course it's disappointing when when we when we don't win, uh, but we yeah we give our best every game, and these two last results haven't been great, but we we look forward to the next game and and to. Uh, yeah, and to to get a result from there. New centre backs seem to arrive at Celtic every week now. There's <laughs> another one today. What's your reaction when you see that? Have you had a chance to speak to, to Nat Phillips? Yeah, I, I spoke to him, and he was training today also. And he uh, he looked like a great player. He has a good uh, uh, good uh, how do you say it? He has played for for good clubs and has a good uh, history. So yeah, I look forward to. To get to know him as a player and as a, as a person. But a chance now you have to say to him, no, no, no I, I want to keep my place. Good player and all, but I, I want to play. Yeah, every player want to play. And, and I think it's just good with the competition without uh, inside a team to get everyone on their, on their toes and to, to become better every day to, to get that starting position.